Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to join you and the esteemed speakers of this opening session as I officially launch the UNIDO conference Women in Industry and Innovation. 2020 is a significant milestone in many ways. It marks the 25th anniversary of the Beijing Declaration and the Platform for Action, which is a crucial pillar for the promotion of gender equality and women's empowerment. 2020 also marks 10 years to a deadline to achieve the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals, which have put gender equality at their core. Just two weeks ago, we also celebrated the UN Women's 10th anniversary. But 2020 has also been a year of reckoning as the world faces enormous health, social, economic challenges caused by COVID-19, which have only amplified the existing gender inequalities. The pandemic has served as a deafening reminder that although industrialization can significantly promote structural change, generate employment, and facilitate a more efficient use of resources, its benefits have historically not been enjoyed equally by all of society, especially women. During this pandemic, women as workers, business owners, and the entrepreneurs are struggling to access financial rescue packages, credit, and unemployment benefits. Businesses in the manufacturing sector are particularly hard hit as factories were brought into a standstill. A recent UNIDO study found that 49% of surveyed women-led enterprises had to temporarily suspend their activities due to pandemic, coupled with order cancellations from domestic and international markets, difficulties accessing raw materials and the finance. The survey shows that the resilience of women entrepreneurs, their employees, and the communities within which they operate have been profoundly tested. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, unfavorable conditions and the structural barriers faced by women in industry predate the pandemic, which unfortunately is exacerbating these hardships. This conference is therefore a timely reminder of how much remains to be done to achieve a world where the women and men lead equally, participate in and benefit from inclusive and sustainable industrial development. How does UNIDO respond to these challenges? UNIDO is committed to implementing programs that challenge the discrimination faced by women and the girls, whatever their background and identity. The 2020-2023 UNIDO strategy for gender equality and the empowerment of women provides a framework for both our organizational practices and our programmatic work. One of UNIDO's flagship initiatives on gender equality is promoting women's economic empowerment for inclusive and sustainable development in the MENA region funded by the government of Italy, which supports this conference. By increasing access of women to productive resources, creating enabling conditions for women's entrepreneurship and job creation, education, vocational training, and the women's leadership, promoting women's agency in climate change adaptation and mitigation, and building the knowledge and the capacity for gender responsive industrial development. UNIDO is helping to create a world where both men and women can thrive. Achieving this vision means focusing on concrete steps. How can we harness the power of entrepreneurship in value chain development? How can we ensure that transition towards circular economies does not leave women behind? How can we meaningfully empower women through ICTs and digital technologies? This conference will serve as a forum for exchange of best practices where the policymakers, practitioners, and the women and men entrepreneurs from across the world can engage 
in constructive dialogue where the strategic and business linkages are created and the lessons learned can be shared for rapid implementation. The fourth industrial revolution is ripe with promise. Let us all work together to ensure that women benefit equally by participating and shaping and pushing the frontiers of industry and innovation. I thank you and I trust that you will enjoy the deliberations over the coming days. Thank you very much.